If you need an ambulance in the city of Milwaukee, you might be waiting longer than you hoped. It could take up to an hour for help to arrive. Fox 6 discovered a new policy that doubles the time allowed for private ambulances to respond to less serious calls. Cassidy Williams looked into why the city made this change. When you're waiting for help, it can feel like time stands still. As I called 911, I was put on hold for, seemed like eternity. On June 13th, Mike Reed called 911. Milwaukee Fire Department, what's the location of your emergency? A friend was going in and out of consciousness. I just got here, the guy's on the floor and he needs help screaming. Reed said he got transferred multiple times and was put on hold. In the end, he waited more than a half an hour for an ambulance to arrive. Yeah, I could have probably put him on a, on a coaster wagon and walked him to the hospital faster than the ambulance got there. While he waited, Reed called 911 again and asked to talk to a supervisor. This is way over the top. And so I'm sorry that you were transferred back and forth. Um, currently, yes, you're right. There are some flaws in the system. Do you think there are any flaws in the system that need to be worked out or smoothed out? I would say a better way to categorize that is an incredibly, it's a complex system. Milwaukee Fire Department Assistant Chief Joshua Parrish explains the system like this. When you dial 911, a dispatcher first makes sure your call went to the right place, which could involve some transfers. Then the dispatcher starts asking questions. Okay, and is he awake? How the caller answers determines what happens next. We have over a thousand different call types. If a medical call is considered non-life-threatening, it's called a lower acuity call. MFD will then dispatch a private ambulance. They'll respond without lights and sirens for safety reasons in an effort to avoid crashes like this. It means they are dealing with the same things on the road as everyone else. Well, trains are always uh, a big one. Uh, drawbridges. Uh, downtown over the rivers. Chris Anderson is the director of operations for Bell Ambulance. It's Milwaukee's largest private ambulance provider. Although these days, there isn't much competition. Well, the city of Milwaukee is 100 square miles, um, and we have currently just two ambulance companies covering that very, very large area of the city. Anderson says Bell is on average responding to twice as many calls per day compared to just a few years ago when there were four providers. It's double the work with the same number of EMTs. We've pretty well maintained that number. We've been having a hard time expanding that number. Because of these challenges, the city made a change. On June 7th, a new policy went into effect. The city doubled the time allowed for private ambulances to respond to non-life-threatening calls from a half hour to 60 minutes. I'm sure it's frustrating to be the person waiting for the ambulance. But we have to do what we can. We have to use the resources that we can. And in a system that keeps getting busier, we have to make changes. Anderson says during the first two months of that new 60 minute policy, Bell responded to around 2,600 lower acuity calls. The average response time was 16 minutes, 33 seconds. But they did have to use the full 60 minutes three times. Our goal is to treat those calls the same as every other call. So what happened with Reed's call? MFD dispatched a Curtis ambulance, the city's other provider. MFD says Reed's call was considered lower acuity, meaning his half hour wait time fell within the 60 minutes allowed. Curtis did not respond to our request for an interview, but we do know it was a busy day for first responders. Around the same time Reed was calling, two adults and a young boy fell into a drainage ditch after heavy rain. It's a very large city. Um, and things that happen in different parts of the city can affect different parts of the city. Still, Reed thinks something needs to change. I just don't want to see anybody else go through something like that. Anderson says Bell has worked closely you know, with the fire department on solutions. Um, it's been really collaborative and it's, it's really great to see. I, I, I really enjoy working with those guys. He says things are improving, but Milwaukee simply needs more EMTs. I think we're in a good place. I think we could get to great. But how long it takes the city to get there, only time will tell. With photojournalist Eric Litzheim, Cassidy Williams, Fox 6 News.
Cassidy, thank you. Now, Bell has hired a full-time trainer to its staff. Next month, it will be the first time they offer two concurrent EMT training classes. If you want to know more information on how to apply, head to our website. We have it all there for you, fox6now.com.